Hello there, friends, and welcome back to Bandletale, a League of Legends story. We're about to head into the Greensprout Woods for the first time, looking for someone named Bucket. We've sent scouts all over the islands looking for Vigar, who left us with a bit of a threat. Uh, so we're trying to uh, throw some more parties and get some portals fixed <laughs> so we can find our friend Clover, finally at last. But right now, we're checking out these woods. They look very interesting so far. That's cool. I need the skill sap cooking to use this. Okay, well, we haven't unlocked that yet. Uh, I guess that's going to be coming next. Let's see, how do we get... How do we get further up here? Okay, there's another bridge here. Oh, here we go. Winkle says, Psst. Scout Winkle reporting the situation. All clear. Except for the caves. I'm kind of afraid to check those out. Why are you afraid of the caves? They're very dark and I've got a very good imagination. Whew, I can 100% identify with that Winkle. <laughs> Don't worry, I can take care of the caves. Aren't you bored in these bushes, though? Not in the slightest. I love nature. It inspires my best poems. Want to hear one? Uh, sure. Feel the morning air, quiet whisper of the trees. I love stakeout time. So that would be a haiku? I had no idea our gunners were so talented. Thanks. Now I need to get back to the stakeout if you don't mind. All right, we're going to go check out this cave then. I just want to see what's over here. Oh, we can gather some more moss. Oh, we have a look spot. Let's check it out. Some nice floating stones over here. Okay, another broken bridge. Just going to take a little look around, gather some more moss. We're still looking for someone named Bucket. I don't know if they're going to be inside the cave. Oh, that guy doesn't want to talk. Okay. <laughs> um, what's down this way? Oh, there's quite a bit of room up here in the woods. We have somewhere to set our house down. We haven't even gone all the ways yet. Uh, there's a bug spot. We'll grab some more of this. What is this? We can clean up this mess. So here's another cave. Okay. So I... That they might be connected. Might come out on that one. Wait, is this a cave too? No. Okay. <laughs> just checking. I right, just want to take a peek up here and then we'll go back down and, and head into that first cave that we saw. Okay, so this must be bucket with the question mark are you the yordles that were on the expedition we were yeah but now we're just chilling oh why haven't you tried to get out of here it's nice out here isn't it besides what's the point how was the expedition expo what oh right like the tree thing dr feldspar left to look for a way to its roots after it fell down she never came back and without her Look, that cloud looks almost like you. Yep, weightless and carefree. Don't lose heart, I'm sure. Nah, you don't get it. We wanted to get to the tree so badly that everything now feels pointless. Don't remind me. See? Do you know where your leader went? Dr. Feldspar mentioned the caves. Do not talk to me about the caves. They're dark and scary and not chill. Okay, thanks. <laughs> and I thought I was doing nothing sitting in that badge book for so long. Feels like these guys have set a new record. Don't be too hard on them. They've lost their leader. I don't know what I would have done if Gramps just left. Really? I'd say we're getting close to saving Clover on our own now. Think we can help these lost yordles find a purpose? Let's ask Boggs. He might know. Let's see what else they have to say. Hey, you know much about clouds? Not really. That's a shame. I never thought about it much before, but they're pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, clouds are awesome. Uh, do we need to talk to this little person? I must save every rock I can find. I'm harboring them inside my pockets. 
Once the tree collapsed, they were all uprooted, like me. Can't you feel it? Their confusion, their distress, and so I must take them all with me. Only together can we rebuild our lives. Okie dokie. Pocket full of rocks. All right, let's get back down to this cave and see what we can find. Maybe we can find Dr. Feldspar. Uh, which, by the way, I believe Feldspar is the name of some kind of rock or stone, so that seems fitting that she's in a cave. Huh, no idea what Winkle was so afraid of. What the... Uh-oh. Oh no. What's happening? <laughs> oh good, you're awake. Uh-oh. Was I hit with a sleeping dart? All I know is someone carried us out of the cave and gently put us on the grass. That's simultaneously both sweet and creepy. I guess we should look for an alternate route into the caves. I'm fine, by the way, just taking a nap here. That's a good call. Being a leader must be exhausting. If I was one, I'd issue a nap order to all the yordles under my command. You were right to stay away from the caves. Look, this sleeping dart knocked me out. That looks like one of Timo's darts. Why would he use it on me? No idea, but Timo always sticks to his plan. Even if he doesn't tell you what the plan is. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> do we think it was Timo? All right, so we did see another cave entrance up here at the top of the hill. So let's go try that one and see if we can sneak in the back way. <laughs> um, let's see, how, how are our pockets doing? I don't think we've picked up too much stuff. Yeah, we're okay for the moment. Just wanted to check since we had a place to set our house down there. Uh, so let's try this cave entrance. I can't do anything with this now. Oh, okay. Um, well, there's a portal here. Let's look at that. So we've opened up that portal. Looks like we need to talk to Boggs. So let's head back out of the woods then. Because we can't do anything with that cave yet. Maybe we have to ask Boggs and get him to tell us about it. Uh, if we can find our way back out of the woods, which I think we can. <laughs> it wasn't uh, it wasn't too confusing. And I believe right here is where we came in. Cool. Alright, so Boggs might still be up at the entrance. Let's go take a peek. Now we have this moss in our pocket, so we might as well gather some more. We probably need to check on our beets sometime, too. We ran out of them in the last one. All right, how do we inspire the lost yordles? Alas, only Dr. Feldspar can help there. Dr. Feldspar? What's she like? She's only the most adventure-obsessed yordle you can find. Her enthusiasm is enough for ten yordles. If she didn't disregard the rules so often, she'd have made a great Bandal Scout. What was the expedition for? Oh, I was working on it for months and months, studying topography, climate, the weather patterns, but it was Dr. Feldspar who got the ball rolling. Our expedition was going to learn what makes the tree so huge when, well, the portal disaster happened, the tree fell down, and you know the rest. Where can I find Dr. Feldspar? Honestly, she might be hiding right underneath you right now. What? Or she might be far beyond the horizon. That's a lot of ground to cover. Huh. I remember her having a journal. She used to write the wildest adventure ideas inside. That's as good a place to start as any. Thanks. Okay, what does Boggs have? Anything we need now? He's got some sap. Should we buy some sap? <laughs> we should just go ahead and buy some. I think we will, because we have learned that that saves us some time sometimes. So we're going to buy a little bit of sap from Boggs there. Okay, so intera interact with Dr. Feldspar's chest. So we'll have to figure out where we can find that. I'm guessing it's in those woods. Whoops. So we'll have to, let's go back there. We'll stop and set our house down for a second. Wait, why did I want to do that? Oh yeah, to check on the beets. <laughs> we need to harvest some beets. So we're gonna set our house down for just a second. Oh wait, that's not the way we go. Hello. I mean, we could have set our house down there too, but we gotta head up to the forest anyway. 
So we're going to try it up here since we haven't yet. Uh, I don't know if we should try going in the cave again. I feel like the same thing's gonna happen. Let we're, we're gonna keep our eye open for a chest up here somewhere. All right, let's put the backpack down and head in here and check on our garden. Okay, we've got some more beets. Let's plant some more. And we're gonna go ahead and gather these things too. I was kind of waiting for some reason, I'm not really sure of. <laughs> um, but we'll go ahead and harvest those and put them in our storage too. And any of this stuff that we can do while we're here, we'll just go ahead and do it. And we'll be super ready for next time. Okay, just taking a second to put a few things in storage. Make sure we keep some pocket space open. Let's see, I think clay is in our other, but we can put these buckets over. And I don't know, is iron needles in our other engineering chest? That's not it. Oh, the other engineering chest is outside. Let's check. Just gotta open this up. Oh yeah, iron needles are in here, okay. And clay. All right, um, since we're gonna be walking right around the forest here, why don't we open up our vending? just so we can be gathering some stars and stuff while we're, uh, oh, and then I can't get past there. <laughs> okay, we'll close this one up. Uh, we're gonna stay right around here. We're just gonna look for Dr. Feldspar's chest. Oh, is this another entrance to the cave? We didn't try this one yet, did we? Okay, I, uh, should we go in there without our house? I mean, I guess there's probably not going to be a place to set it down in the cave. That's the one we can't do anything with now. Okay. So, do 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 do. Where is Dr. Feldspar's chest? Did we see a chest sitting around anywhere? Ah, there it is, hidden down here. I'm guessing this is it. Oh, nice. We'll get some extra fish hooks. Okay, so this must not be her chest. That is just. One. Okay, that one didn't count. Oh, look, there's another cave entrance down there. Is that Dr. Feldspar? Okay. I don't know how we get down there, but we're going to need to figure it out. I saw another cave entrance right here below us, too. Oh, how do we get there? Okay. Well, that's going to be something to explore. Um, actually, I, uh, I don't feel comfortable leaving the backpack here, so we're going to have to pick this up have to do some vending later. Let's see if we can figure out how to get down to those spots we just saw. Is it going to be this way? This kind of, Oh, there's Dr. Feldspar's chest. It's got the question mark over it. Okay, here we go. Dr. Feldspar's note. Dear diary. Ah! With that out of the way, it's back to the drawing board. What would Timo do? He's unpredictable, so I've got to be unpredictable -er. Maybe I should visit fish Fisher Yordles in the Big Catch Camp. Note to self, bring a yummy for the squirrel cat. Okay, and we've got a few crystals here, so we'll take those. What in the world? A yummy for the squirrel cat. I don't know what that's going to be, but... Okay, now we need to talk to Gilly. Is that someone we already talked to? I can't remember now. We'll have to watch for a question mark over someone's head. Um, I'm not going to try to go in the cave again. Let's see. We couldn't get any further this way. We need to find someone named Gilly. Let's look out here. We may have already talked to him, and I'm just not remembering. What's over here? That's not Gilly. No one down here named Gilly. Let's 
Whoop. <laughs> the bugs are still hanging out down here. All right, we only have the one, yeah, it's just the one quest here. So we just gotta find Gilly. And we'll be set. There's Ike. You're not Gilly. Oh, did we go up the hill here? Who's this? Fern. Caring for these flowers takes work, but it's exciting work. Just don't water them. That's a mistake you only make once. I'm clean. Congratulations? No, this is terrible. I should be filthy, grimy, covered in muck. If I can't be up to my elbows in potting compost, transplanting seedlings, what good am I? Okay. We'll work on getting that back for you. We just gotta find Gilly. I can't think of who that might be. All right, let's keep looking. Okay, guys, well, I can't find Gilly at the moment. Sometimes the person that we need to talk to is on another island. So we're going to head over to Inspiration Isle and see what's going on over there before we continue with this quest. I, I don't mean to jump around so much, but I've been all over this Green Sprout Grove and I haven't seen Gilly. So we're going to go check out Inspiration Isle and uh, find out what we need to be doing over there. And we're going to take the portal because it's just easier. Let's go right to here. How's your party planning going? We spent some time chatting with my colleagues. Went through our repertoire with a fine tooth comb, so to say. You know, investigated all the possibilities of... Just say we've got nothing, Waltz. This is going to be the bestest party ever! The butterflies will flutter in a colorful tornado. The yordles will swim in the pink clouds. And me and Pix will be sitting atop a giant musical toad. I'm not sure that would work, Lulu. Any other ideas? The problem is we can't just throw a party like any other island. Since we are the most creative yordles, people have expectations. Even if we lose this contest, we've got to do it with panache. Yeah, we've got to lose it like champions. Also, it would be a lot more enjoyable if our neighbors came too. Your neighbors? Yes, our artistic peers live on the slopes of ocular delight. The visual arts arts might not be as sophisticated as music, but they're still our colleagues. Delicious food is also rad. What they mean is the gourmets on Hungry Hilltop would be welcome too. Okay, thanks. You did invite the butterflies already, right? Well, they usually fly in by themselves. Lulu, a good host always invites her guests personally. That's an incredible idea. Pix and I will draw invitations for the butterflies. These creatives and their crises. Let's just throw the party ourselves. Okay, let's take a look. We gotta talk to the tunnel keeper. Um, should we gather a little more of this while we're here? Probably. Okay, the tunnel keeper. Oh, can we fish here yet? Ah, first mate's hook and captain's hook. Okay, I don't see any uh, of our artifacts there, so I'm not going to spend a hook on it. And I think we're good on crystals for right now. There's the portal where we came in. Let's see if we can talk to the tunnel keeper. I believe he's down here. Well, he used to be down here. Maybe he's over by the tunnel now. Maybe he's in the tunnel? We did see him down here before. Yeah, there he is. Okay. What are you doing here? My duty, of course. I'm keeping these tunnels safe. So how's the safety of the tunnels? Something's wrong. The creative magic, it's waning. Our island has a special haven within it. The most creative yordles of Bandle City reside there. If anyone can restore the creative magic, it's them. So how do I get to this secret haven? 
Their creative magic might be the secret to restoring the portals. The elevator that goes there was working during your last party. If we find a way to repair it, we can reach them. Their creative energy might also be amazing for your party. I'll think if there's a way to fix the elevator. Ask me later. What's it like to keep the tunnels safe? The tunnels, as you know, are tremendously important. Why? Haha, <laughs> that's a good one. No, seriously, why? Good grief, you're funny. Why are the tunnels important? Ha ha ha. Fine, it was a joke, I guess. <laughs> ha ha ha, hilarious. Okay, what is this guy selling? We, did, we already got his artifact, I think, so we're not going to buy any of that. Okay, so let's actually take a look at our map and see if we have one of those cool little triangles. And there it is. Talk to Bebop. And talk to Brunois at the Hungry Hilltop. Okie dokie. So let's go do those things. And may, we, I probably should have checked the map for Gilly, too. So we'll go back in a little bit and... Oops, I think I needed to go right here. I didn't think of that when we were on Green Sprout Grove, so... We will definitely go back and check the map and see if we can find Gilly. Uh, but right now, let's talk to... This guy. Whoops. I know what our party needs. What, what, what? <laughs> the dancing of little bug feet to entertain our guests. Yes, 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 finally my dancing training will pay off. I'm gonna teach the bugs all I know. Are you sure that's what Tunnel Keeper meant by creativity? Berry cake. We should ask the cooks to make a giant berry cake. And then we can have a contest of who can eat it the fastest. This is great! Picks, fly to Hungry Hilltop and make the order immediately. Eating a cake? That doesn't sound very creative to me. Are you sure that's what Tunnel Keeper meant by creativity? Creativity! We need to revive the creativity on Inspiration Isle. Let's have a party. This will help us get ideas for the contest. I'm sorry, but is this necessary? Me and my colleagues can play music. That's it. That's our only skill. Oh, I have an idea. Yes, Lulu. You, me, dancing. A dance party on an island full of musicians sounds suspiciously reasonable for you. <laughs> Except we only have musicians, not dancers. Fine, I'm sold. Sold on what? Me and Pix will open a dance school. But we need some groove spinners for that. Can you bring some? Sure thing. I'll bring you the best dance music ever. Okay, so we do know where to get groove spinners because uh, <laughs> Frankel in Yarnville has offered them to us several times. So we will uh, have to head back to Yarnville at some point too. Okay, so in order to talk to Brunois, we got to go through the cave again. And... Their little entrance is over here, I think. Yeah, here we go. Oh, got to get that black sand when we can. All right, let's talk. How are you two? To tell you the truth, to tell you the truth, we're working our whippers off. We're sauteing and broiling and baking and enough chit chat. Chop. Make sure those shallots are roasted to perfection. Yes, Mr. Brunois, sir. That's great. Cooking can be really creative. And we need all your creativity to energize the magic on Inspiration Isle. Plus, your cooking could inspire the other Yordles to be creative, too. I'm not sure we're up for that right now. Certainly not. The Hungry Hilltop requires our full attention. What's going on with her? Ever since you fed her bug chow, she's been asking us to make more. But I think we overdid it, and now she's suffering from a burning sensation. Can I help? As a matter of fact, yes. There are plants in Green Sprout Grove that make a perfect heartburn remedy. Then I'm off to collect them. Excellent! That frees me up to think about our new menu. It will be unlike anything Bandle City has ever seen before. 
Hang tight, Miss Hilltop. Help is on the way. Okay. So, we gotta make an herbal mixture. <laughs> uh, and we need a groove spinner. So, we've got some other stuff to do. So, we needed to go back to uh, Green Sprout Grove anyway. Who is this? Oh, okay. This is one of the other scouts we need to talk to. Report the situation. This is such a wonderful place. The food is amazing, and the chefs are so nice. And there's a bridge that plays music when you step on it. What? <laughs> right. And the Vigar situation? The traces I managed to find go cold at the elevator. Speaking of cold, you've got to try the local ice cream. It literally freezes your brain in the best way possible. Thanks for the recommendations, Quill. But I should check out the elevator first. Okay, and where is the elevator? Let's look at the map again. Um, Hungry Hilltop, we're working on that. The elevator is not here, I don't guess. And maybe they're talking about the one at the Unity Tree. Anyway, let's head back over to Green Sprout Grove. Okay, here we are. Uh, let's just take a look at the map here to see if any of our little triangles are showing up. Like, where in the world is Gilly? Um, if we go to this, does that show up on the map? No. Let's go to, whoops. ZR, okay. Shows you where the Yordles are. We have Bogs. Ike, Ike, Ike. Is Gilly here? Okay, so Gilly is definitely not on this island. All right, well, there's that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna walk around for a minute just to see if there's somebody here that we do need to talk to to find out how to make this herbal mixture that we need. And then we'll head back to Bandle City, or I'm sorry, Yarnbell, so we can talk to Frankel and maybe find Gilly. Actually, before we go looking all over for somebody, uh, let's go into our skill tree because we we need the rich seed bed skill and we need what was the other one? Oh, I think they were both under here the sensation fest so let's go ahead and get into our skill tree and unlock those so I think the seed bed is gonna be under nature rich seed bed let's see here There it is, 17. And then the other thing we needed was, what? Some kind of fest, let's see here. Untangler multi-tool, is it through here? Sensation fest, there it is, okay. And that costs 15. We still have quite a few orbs. We've been getting a lot from the parties we've thrown. So we have now the skills unlocked that we needed. Um, can we, what do we need for this? Oh, we haven't even unlocked. Do we need to do a little more home upgrading? To unlock that so we can unlock that so we can unlock the next home upgrade? Let's take a look. Decorate. Uh, do we have a new color option? Maybe we'll go with the purple prism bungalow for a while. Oh, we do have some new options. We have the Teemo palette. And the Yumi palette. Well, that's a nice purple. Why don't we go with that one for a while? And see if that makes any difference. What can we decorate in here? Change. We kind of changed everything in here. We can't change the flooring yet. We don't have any options for that. Maybe we can change our Poro out of his bee costume and turn him into a little Bandle Scout for a while. All right, well that didn't seem to unlock any badge stuff, so I don't know what we need to do for that. But we need to go to Yarnbill, so let's grab this. Remove our backpack. And can we take a portal there? Or is that the one that you can only get to through the big portal? All right, well we're right here, so we're gonna head through and go through the big portal. 
and it won't hurt us to uh, run through Bandle City here anyway because we can take a minute to check our map and see if Gilly is on this island. I don't see any... Let's see... Jasper, Gerbo, Dr. Soon, Tristana, nope. Okay, Gilly's not here. So we'll keep heading to the portal to get to Yarnville. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we need the black sand. Uh, let's see. Talk to Gilly. I don't know if you have to be actually on the quest for the little triangles to show up. Um, but Gilly was not here. Anyway, so we'll keep heading to the portal. Almost there. And we have to talk to Frankel while we're there too. So, oh, more black sand. So we'll be talking to Frankel and looking for Gilly. All right, here we go. So let's go talk to Frankel first because we know where he's at. And then we'll check our map again and see if Gilly's on this island. Frankel, we need the shop. Is this a groove spinner, this red button? No, it's a backpack button. Okay, but in the comments you told me that we need to get another one of these, so we're gonna go ahead and buy it. Let's see. Groove spinners. He doesn't have that on his list here. I thought we could get those from him. Let's talk to him. I've got quite the collection of groove spinners, you know. Dreaming in Blue, Bandlewood Bebop, The Cursed Maraca, some of the rarest in print. So how do we get them? Alright, let's check our map and see if Gilly's here. It does not look like it. Alright, where do we find this Gilly person? <laughs> is, is there a place on Inspiration Isle that we needed to unlock that we haven't yet? Let's see, throw a new friend fest, bring a groove spinner to Lulu, and talk to Liana. I don't know which way Liana went. Okay, I guess we can uh, check our map again and see if Liana is here. And she is not. Okay. We'll keep look forgetting to look for all the people. I'm gonna take just a minute to empty our storage again. Well, I couldn't drop everything, <laughs> but I dropped some stuff. Okay, so is there a portal fishing spot around here that we weren't able to fish at before because we didn't have the right hook? Let's just check really quickly. I feel like we, we definitely have seen some. Okay, it's not there. How did we get up to the lookout spot? Was it through here? Ooh, more mushrooms. Okay, let's just take a look up here. Uh, we've already been up here. There's nothing in the chest. Nothing new that we need to see. Okay. <laughs> I don't really know where we're going now. Okay, you know what? While we're here, we're going to do a quick lecture because, you know, we love getting distracted from what we're actually trying to accomplish. <laughs> so, let's see. Where is our... I think it's inside, actually. Our flask table? Yes. Oh, we're not trying to make that. Rich soil. Okay, flask workbench two. We still haven't figured out where to get... What is this? The quick set rock paste. Is that something? Let's just check these and see if any of these make it. Okay. Once we get that flask workbench too, we'll be able to make paint also, which we need for a lecture. 
but none of the things that we have right now seem to make that so I'm not sure where to get it all right we're gonna keep looking I still haven't found Gilly or Liana so we're gonna head back now to Greensprout Grove again and see if we can find somebody there Okay, going to our map. We need to talk to Liana. Is Liana here? No. And we don't have any question marks here. We can't get into the cave. There's some caves below that we can't get to yet. So this is the upper cave that we need to get into, but it says we can't do anything with this now. And that usually means that we haven't unlocked the part of the quest that allows us to go in there. So, wait a minute. Let's go back to the portal. And go back to Inspiration Isle again. Okay, I do apologize, you guys, <laughs> for all the running around this time. We're having a little trouble finding where we need to go next. Let's see. Okay, so neither Liana nor Gilly is on this island either, unless we just haven't found them yet. So I think we might be looking for a place that we just haven't gone to yet. We checked all this. Uh, there, there's probably somewhere I'm supposed to be discovering that I haven't yet. So what was the party we were supposed to throw somewhere? A friend fest at Gadgeton. Maybe we should go back to trying to get that done. I can't find... Uh, Franco keeps talking about groove spinners, but he didn't have any for sale. And I'm not sure... I'm not sure how we're supposed to... Uh, find those. So one other thing I do want to check though before we leave Inspiration Isle again is going back in the cave and seeing if there's an entrance or if there's something happening at that one entrance where there was those three little stones. So why don't we go check that out before we leave. And I believe that entrance was up here. Maybe this one? Yeah, okay. So can we do anything with this yet? I can't do anything with this now. No. Okay, so is there one more entrance that we haven't been able to get to before? See, like, this is blocked off here. I feel like we'll be able to get to that once it's... Once we get the right things. But for now... The only places we can go is the places we've already been. We've been checking our map for all the things. We don't have any of the little triangles here, like this is where you go next. And the people that we're looking for are not here. So we're going back to Gadgeton. I, get, I don't guess we've checked a gadgeton <laughs> for the things we're looking for. All right, how do we get back to that uh, portal? Because we definitely want to take a portal. I think we have to go around this way. All right, let's get to gadgeton. So now that I think about it, I don't think we checked for the people on this island. So we do have to throw a new friend fest at the Mecha Dome. We'll see if we have the stuff to do that. Neither Liana nor Gilly are here. Okay, let's just cycle through our different 
quests and see if anything pops up. Talk to Liana, who's not here. All right, well, friend fest it is then, even though I feel like we were missing something that we needed in order to do that. Let's just take a look. New friend fest. All right, we have the right music. We have orders, so we need to do a food stand in order to fill up the happiness so that we can do this thing. <laughs> okay. And we do have beets now, so we should be okay with filling orders. Let's get that heat aura in. We're gonna have a nice nighttime food stand this time. Uh, we'll do our usuals. Whoops, not that. And start. Okay. Here we go. Starting off with some glow nanas. Anybody else want to put an order in? More glow nanas. Perfect. I love it when y'all pick the same thing <laughs> twice in a row. Whoops, let's make a rainbow egg. Get those glow nanas out of the oven. We got more glow nanas. We'll have to make sure that we're picking up plenty of those while we're out places too. Because we don't want to run out. And we only have one glow nana tree in our greenhouse. So we need to keep an eye on that. Okay, more glow nanas. It does say we have 37 of them available right now though, so we're not doing too bad. This is our last order. Just waiting for it to cook. And there you go, Ingvar. Perfect. Okay, that should give us enough to invite our guests to the new friend fest, uh, which is this speed. Okay, let's get them invited. Uh, wait, who did we invite already? We need Ingvar and we need Rumble, I think. All right, let's go. We gotta collect 40. All right, here's some already. Cool. Let's get it in there. We need some boost, man. Oh, here's some more. This is only giving us like one at a time though. What the heck? <laughs> We're gonna have to do better than that. We're up to six. Oh, I gotta hold it down to boost that. No. Oh, here's some. Oh, oh, and I missed it. Oh, we're never gonna get this party. We're, we're not gonna make it. What in the world? Did I pick the wrong music? They like the music. There's little smiley faces by it. But we are just not getting... We only have 30 seconds left. We're not gonna get close to 40. Oh, these guys are given a little bit more at a time than one. But still, we only have 15 seconds and we're halfway. Not gonna make it. Oh, that's how boosts work. I kind of think I was doing that wrong. Okay, so... I didn't take your advice either and save before the party so I am actually gonna have to do that again all right give me a second to get set up guys and we'll try that one more time okay so I've made all the preparations again and this time we're gonna take your advice and save before we get started let me just make sure that it's saved yes it did okay <laughs> Got it. We gotta keep on top of those. All right, so let's unroll this party. And we're just gonna um, check a few things. Like maybe we had not good music. It's got a smiley face. Oh, so there's, 
There's only one type of music we can use here? How do we get more? Because the Gadgetin residents like this high energy music. So where do we get these groove spinners exactly? Is somebody selling them somewhere? Or is this just our only choice for this particular party? Because I don't understand how we're supposed to get 40 when it was filling so incredibly slowly. Uh, so the only other thing I can think of is that we need... What, what was it? Um, sorry, this thing keeps jumping around. The party charm... I think the party charm, yeah, was the thing that like gives everything a boost. So maybe we'll try that out and see if it does any better this time. Okie dokie, let's get this party started again. So we just have to, uh, the first orb that we pick up, we gotta throw in that party charm thing. But this is why they're filling so slowly because this is not the kind of music and stuff that the gadgetin people usually like or are we in the wrong we're in the mecha dome so we're in the right place it's just not we're, we're not getting <laughs> we're not getting the boosts we need all right let's put this in here and see if it helps i can't interact with this during the party i thought we could didn't we do that last time we threw the stuff in in there Okay, I'm really confused now. Alright, we're gonna try to get as many of these as we can, see if we can get close to 40 this time. Alright, oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. We're up to 16. Oh, give me that. We, the, like, the faster we can grab them, I think, the more they're worth. But <laughs> it's so unpredictable. Our little leg likes to go at different speeds, so I can't always get to them as fast as I want to. All right, we're doing better this time. We're at 26. Anybody else want to give us some? Hurry, hurry, hurry. We only have 15 seconds left. We're definitely not gonna make it. Okay, I'm not really sure <laughs> what we're doing wrong, guys. I'm gonna have to keep working at this. Um, At least we get the orbs that we earned from it. I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here for today. And I'm going to check on some things and think about this a little bit. And we're, we're kind of stuck in a few places. If you know which island we need to look for our people on, or if I missed something super obvious, go ahead and let me know. Or if you know what I'm doing wrong at this party, that would also be super helpful. But thank you guys so much for hanging out for another episode. We are really having fun with this game and there's a lot to it, uh, but I appreciate you so much for being here. Please take a moment if you would and click the like button. And if you like cozy little games like this one, even if it takes a little figuring out, <laughs> go ahead and click the subscribe button so you can join us for the next one. I'll see you there, friends. Have a beautiful day.